YouTube how you doing today we're gonna install Android 4.3 on a tablet this is how to install Android on a Windows tablet okay we have a Windows tablet here it's the Fusonic the one running Windows 9 uh, we're gonna delete that and we're gonna install Android 4.3 okay first of all you will need to create yeah, a bootable USB with a program called UNET Bootin. It's an ISO file and you can download it. And we just created with uh, UNET Bootin uh, a bootable USB with GParted on it. And why GParted? Well, GParted will make a Linux partition on the uh, NTFS partition because you cannot install Android you know um, on an NTFS partition at least I don't know how so you have to create a Linux partition and we're gonna do that with UNET booting well uh, you will have to boot from the stick okay I set it to boot from the gparted so we're gonna start gparted now this is a Linux uh, distribution and you can create all sorts of partitions we will first remove the NTFS partition will give us 10 gig and then we're gonna make a 10 gigabyte um, partition Linux partition for Android so we will also have an Android with a big hard drive in this tablet Because in July the guys just created the 4.3 for the x86 systems and I did not get the time to look at it yet because I just got back from holiday okay don't touch the key map just say enter 33 must be English I think yep enter just hit enter enter There we go. The screen is being detected by Linux. And I hope it will find something. Okay, there we go. We we even have uh, we even have how you call it. Okay, so what we're first gonna do, here you can see our drive, the 14 gigs. You see that? We're gonna delete that drive and uh, we also see a 14 uh, a 350 megabyte drive that's also from windows you see ntfs we also gonna delete it and then uh, we're gonna say um, we're gonna say edit and then apply all operations yes apply okay successfully and then we should have one partition and then we're gonna say a new partition alrighty and we're gonna create uh, let me see create a new partition can I see a primary partition and here you can see it an X2 partition that is Linux Linux you see that the X2 this is a Linux swap I really don't know what that is I don't know everything trust me and uh, I just gonna create this and then we say add and then we say edit and then we say apply apply so it's now creating a Linux partition for us because here on the other side we also have our friend called UNET Bootin. I'm gonna start it up one more time because we need it. There it is. We need it. Because um, as soon as this is finished. So save. Uh, never mind, cancel, close. And now we can say exit 
amazing eh? how good the touch screen uh, works and then we say shut down okie doke system is shutting down system will now halt and the system is shut off ok so now we take the same stick because I'm out of my USB sticks and then uh, up here we have unit booting and in unit booting we're gonna select the ISO let me make this a little bit bigger so you guys can see it a little bit better I hope you can see it but uh, up here we can select the ISO file and I just downloaded it so it must be in my downloads Windows Blue what do I see there and Android G parted Android x86 you see there so we're gonna take this one and the drive that it will do this to is not um, is not found so we're gonna do this one more time I had to first insert the USB stick and then uh, run uh, where is it and then run uh, unit booting so and now unit booting will find my drive you see it says D that one is D and now uh, we select the ISO file it's in my downloads there it was Android 4.3 and then we say please create a drive for us a USB drive so this is uh, how to prepare the tablet so the tablet is now waiting with the Linux partition from 10 gigabytes or 15 gigabytes it's waiting right there um, for us to um, yeah to install Android by the way this version of Android is a version that is special for computers so if you have uh, let's say uh, a normal PC and you want to play around with Android or you want to build uh, how you call it a what's up laptop or what's up computer you know then um, well laptops is a little hard not all laptops will run Android without a problem because most of the times you will get problems with the Wi-Fi the Wi-Fi is not connected is not working but if you are on a on a, uh, a cable a co old computer with a cable an old dual core computer you might try to install Android 4 on it and you will have all these programs running there for you there are all sorts of versions just type in Google Android x86 space download and you will, fee, uh, you will see the x86 site that will give you all information about you know all the uh, even abundant uh, versions of Android the 1.6 uh, the 2.1 Froyo they are all there yo so you can download them all okay here we installed uh, the Android on the stick we stick it in here and after starting up I think it will start up to the Android and then we say install Android you see that install Android so we're gonna install Android and you see a lot of abacadabra and up here we will go create and modify partitions fatal error blah de blah de blah okay um, let's format to x3 okay you choose to format yes you will lose everything it was already that's why you see I created a fat uh, because I'm not getting into um, into the part where I can fix the drive this is a SSD drive so you know I have a little bit of headache with that I cannot get into that part I always get fatal error so that's why I do it this way I create a I format the drive uh, with G parted so I already have a, a Linux partition so it won't be too hard to um, oh no this is not working yet do you want to install a bootloader grip up here you must say yes 
do you want to install system directory as read write making system be read write is easier for debugging but needs more space we have enough space so there it goes and we never uh, checked it to see if the version of Android was really uh, also good enough for this tablet but most 8x86 systems you know they just work fine yo but for the Fusonic tablet you need uh, the, the the tablet version for the TG uh, or whatever okay we're gonna reboot because we want to start from the thingy but then I will have to go into my bias first by hitting Dell okay to get in the BIOS I made a video that you could bypass uh, the password you can only bypass the password to go to the operating system but to get into the BIOS really actually get into the BIOS you uh, you will have to you know know the password otherwise you don't get in you won't get in okay so now we selected the drive the eternal drive and after uh, oh, keyboard is not connected sometimes we also get these little issues there we go you see that and this is the developers edition of Android and we're booting straight up from the hard drive, the SSD drive in the machine I see you there So there we are my friends, uh, it says United Kingdom bloody blah, blah, that is all good to me. As a matter of fact we just installed Android on a tablet, a Windows tablet that was running uh, my version of uh, Windows uh, 9, eh? Windows 9. So let's see how this will work. Then I can play a little bit again with Android. Eh? Although I must say that not all the Android apps work. Uh, for instance, uh, FX Guru won't work on this thing. But it would not be uh, easy to film with this thing and then create a video anyway it's uh, setting up I'll get back to you after the setup oh there it is searching for Wi-Fi networks we could uh, we could skip this for a second skip anyway so next next finish and there we are and let me turn off this big light here for you guys so you don't see my big head in the screen but it's, it's green and it, it looks really nice and let's type OK here and I hope you can see it this is it the brand new uh, Android uh, 4 and uh, <laughs> as you can see there are no uh, apps at all I think oh yeah there are apps um, really nice okay so these are the apps and if you can see there is Play Store installed and in fact everything is there that you need to set up a great Android system so I'm gonna play a little bit with my Android and I think it looks amazing yo let's 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 look at the settings settings Wow look at that yo Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi is turned on as you can see all the Wi-Fi stations there and let's see wow 
I love how the touch, the touch is working. It's working so nice. And about the tablet, here you can see it. It's Android 4.3. You know, baseband is unknown. That's a great thing. So, you know, it cannot lock our baseband. <laughs> anyway, this is it, yo, people. Um, I think it looks nice. If you hit the home button, then you get back home. So this tablet works as a real nice tablet. By the way, let's see how uh, let's see how something works if you have to type something. If we get a nice keyboard, I think keyboard. the keyboard was really easy. I uh, I downloaded the keyboard and then uh, I was like, you know, let me see, let me set the default keyboard. And here you can see that the hardware keyboard. I turned it off. If I turn it on, then you know I will have no keyboard in there. But if I turn it off, you know, then now I have a keyboard. Yeah, there we go. You see that? Now we have a keyboard again. So I'm gonna leave it just like this because I'm gonna use this thing as a tablet. So people, that is how to install Android on a Windows tablet. So now you can also try Android 4.3 on your Windows tablet. I'm gonna put some links out there for you guys uh, to the firmware packages so you guys can download them from uh, Android x86. Uh, .net or com or or I'm not sure I'm gonna put it for you so check out the description um, if you have any questions just don't hesitate to ask you know I will try my best to explain them to you um, before asking me any questions and things like that just uh, first hit the video like if you like this information and of, co of course uh, subscribe to my channel um, and then you know I will always get back to you so till my next video and thank you for watching bye